And good morning from Moss Point, Mississippi. GMM on the road are continuing coverage of the aftermath of that tornado. And one of the ground zero locations, Moss Point High School. I've covered a zillion games at Arthur Haynes Gymnasium here on campus, but on June 19th, it was pretty tough because the storm was coming off the water and headed in this direction. So imagine you're inside the gym and you're practicing volleyball like the girls volleyball team was doing that day and then chaos erupts. You got that and you had the aftermath with the entire high school all together. Let's take a look at how that played out and where they are now. Everybody started screaming and like once they started screaming, the roof started flying off from that way. Moss Point senior Akira Norville and sophomore Jolie Brewer remember all the terrifying details from that June 19th afternoon when volleyball practice turned into a run for your life situation. And then one of our teammates mom was here with us so she told us to run to the corner. The lights go off and then like literally like five, ten seconds later the roof started coming off and we just had, we ran to like this little hallway right here. When we got over here like we were just like scared and like we had like a couple people pass out and stuff. We were just like shaking up. It wasn't just the coaches here, we had some teammates, parents here too so once one of our players passed out, we had Kalia mom, she was here, so she helped us like take off the girl's jacket and we all fanned her and then after a while she woke back up and we was back to good. A little more than a month later, the gym roof is fixed, so activities like kickball are bouncing back. Oh. Oh. And across the hallway, Norval, Brewer, and their Lady Tiger teammates are lifting the burden of those store memories into training for volleyball and the upcoming powerlifting season. They say they're thankful to be alive, but still a little shaken up from what they experienced. Okay, so last night when it was raining bad and it was thundering, that kind of scared me too, because now like when I hear like loud sounds like that, it just brings me back to the time when it happened in the gym. The storm also wreaked havoc across the street at Dantzler Stadium, but Work continues on getting the press box back in working order as the spotlight shines on the first week of football practice. From that morning of the tornado, well, that Monday, you know, we try to give a lesson every day. We told them you're either going to be in adversity, going in adversity, coming out of adversity. It's, it's going to happen. You just got to be able to handle it. And uh, so it's just it's just another test, something, you know, obstacle to overcome. And uh, again, our kids have done well. Um, you know, handling it. Moss Point may have taken a few kicks from the tornado. However, classes started on time a little more than a week ago, and we're told everything is rolling along. I mean, they came in like it was the first day of school and there had never been a tornado. And our teachers were prepared. Uh, they had everything ready to go. Um, we've been, this, like you said, this is day eight. You know, we're rocking and rolling. We're getting after the academic stuff. Uh, so, you know, we're full steam ahead at this point. Yeah, you talk about dealing with adversity. You heard Coach Feaster there talking about that. That was the message that day, and suddenly they had to deal with adversity. And hats off to Moss Point's maintenance department. They might be the unsung heroes of this as they got the roof fixed. You can't even tell inside what's going on unless you look really closely. There were some other areas also hit with the tornado, and they were in good shape. Now, I'll show you. Adjacent to the school, you see those apartments over there, the blue roof, you see a lot of those still, so there's still a long way to go. But here at the high school, as Principal Boyd West said, they are rocking and rolling.